Welcome back to our Let's Play of Pokemon Legends Arceus. When we last left off, I was about to do a mission to study Cleavor, possibly sate it. Um, as you can see, my uh, team has grown a little bit. The upper barrel now. I've got uh, Luxio, Espeon, and Umbreon. I've caught a Stantler. And they've just been leveling Pokemon up in general. So, let's head out. Can't remember if I have to catch any more Starlies. find out. Nope. Oh, I do have to catch some without being spotted, though. Geo dudes with grass and uh Ow. grass and water moves. It's not showing me a marker anymore, so I guess I'm just traveling along. Oh, there it is. It's a big tree. Twenty caught without being spotted. Oh, hello. It's like that twelve. What was that sound? Oh, hello, it's a parasect. Hmm. 
And there are parrots down there. I'm gonna try to make my way down there. I've decided I'm not going to use any of the, uh, the oversized, uh, alpha Pokemon. Uh, Staravia's down there. That I need them. I need to catch a certain amount of them, though. What is that? Sword cap? See Paris. <laughs> gotta defeat Lar gotta defeat him with fire moves. And I don't think I have a fire Pokemon on me. Nope. So let's just catch him. Oops. <laughs> I say as I throw out a... Okay. Oh, it's springy mushroom. I need one of those. There's another spring mushroom. Don't try and absorb me. I realized I said I'd be going to the uh, the new area, but and I will. I mean, I can't catch some Pokemon in the way, right? Hello. Okay. 
the Burmy. is ready to evolve, so we can finally uh, do stuff with it, since it only knows Tunnelkin right now. These things I have to defeat with rock moves. So let's... Just run for it for now. a land bridge this way. of a barrel. Do I have to catch any of these? Uh, I defeat them. Oh, that's an alpha. I 
have to capture this one, right? Yeah. Catch. Ooh, that did nothing. Down to half health. Let's see if I can capture it now. Use a heavy ball on it. There you go. Do for barrel. Huh? All right, I'm almost there. Come on, you can do it. Oh, side duck. Psyduck. Why is Psyduck so aggressive? Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleavor. Am I I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerful, we awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. Whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleveland right now. Uh, I'll do anything. Oh, such an earnest desire to meet mighty Cleveland. I have to admit I'm struck by your passion. 
but, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told with no uncertain terms that by Arita that I am not to let anyone near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now, while you can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll fight your Gumi. You don't even realize I'm I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense to this foolish troublemaker. Ooh, scary Gumi. Okay, let's see. Hypnosis? Nope. Let's uh, actually switch to. Let's see, use the poison move. It's gonna do bad in there. Come on, stop missing. I does already have confusion mastered? I just learned it. Finish it. Uh, how can this be? I m may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to me, Cleaver, now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offer. A nice, heaping helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect of his loyal warden. That's me, of course. Is usually enough to please him and soothe his prickliest of moves. Uh, but even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to make an offering now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor, Weirdir, and their cohort uh, drew a, on Almighty Snow's own power to protect the Pokemon and people alike, so it's said. It's been their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in the vast Sui today. Arita, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he is indeed struck by lightning, could the bolts have been set by a false sinnoh? By the false sinnoh that Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. I hope we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask for some outsider for help. But we must save Cleavor from his frenzy. Even every moment that it continues, the danger grows. 
If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to a conflict between with both the Diamond Clan and, and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, can you, you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell the Lord's Frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Lean and I will gather foods to p please Cleavor in the hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of Vasasui. Okay. Enables you to return to base camp in an instant. Sex so walk consult instantly travel. Yeah, I already figured that out. Thank you. Hmm. Let's see, I don't want to evolve EV. traveled quite a distance and it's gonna be quite a distance to travel back all right let's rest up first let's see if there's any new Pokemon or well, we do it we did get that Psyduck in that uh Psyduck, Benary, Paris, well, this one already has five, eight, this is, this is a good one. out. Okay. Do a quick craft. Good to see you, I am, eh? How's your research in the Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. A ho, is that so? Well, that's quite a tidbit. So a serving of his favorite food would normally make Cleavor more quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull over this back at the laboratory. Could you come along too, dear girl? Alright. That's a lot of money. Caught 85 Pokemon, uh, 30 or more Pokemon in one report, 19 different species caught, Eight caught for the first time, thirty-five caught using a backstrike, and two alpha Pokemon caught. Bloof, Starlish, Swarmpool, Ponyta, Eevee, Dustox, Saravia, Buizel, Drifloon, Cricketot, uh, Geodude, Zubat, and Bernie. We can talk to Stun, I can talk to the one person. And I can rank up, too. I 
So according to the information you were able to learn from Marita and Leon of the Pearl Clan, uh, were this a normal course of events, the Frenzy Cl Cleavor could be calmed by a nice serving as two favorite foods. I do wonder. Is it possible the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleavor, but draw him back from his frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleavor's warden, uh, who looks after Cleavor and knows him well, can't approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. How about we throw it at him? Give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Eureka! I knew you were going to say that word. We'll simply have to throw the food. I do like that all that thinking and his uh, his final conclusion is, let's just throw it at him. You quite the arm of throwing things, haven't you, Ayame? Might I suggest that you take Cleaver's favorite food and throw them at the Pokemon? Uh, elaborate, please. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect from afar. Brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, let's. How about team time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions. Why not call them Lavington balls? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, you can rely on the Pearl Clan to get gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? And you should hurry back to Grand Tree Arena and tell the Pearl Clan about our brilliant plan. If you're off to Grand Tree, you're best set off from Heights Camp, eh? Okay. Well, first of all, let's uh, rank up. Alright, another good noodle star. Force rank of expression. Leaden balls. Level 50. Apricorn, black tumblestone, and iron chunk. And hyper potions. Anything else? Nope. Let's see if there's any new, uh... Warples evolved. Guard of the security court seems to be in a pickle over his Warples evolution. Speak to him and look into it, won't you? Vets eyes. Clarissa of the Security Corps has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Out to the good lady and investigate necessary, if you please. Let's make sure there's no other mission somewhere else. Well, I actually helped her with a uh, mission where uh, a Pichu was, uh, well, she didn't know it was a Pichu. She just knew something was running around her house. She was afraid it was a, a ghost, actually. Nothing down here. Buy some more inventory space, why not?
And one more. Okay. I don't believe it. Princess Lamington seems to think that little, uh, that little uh, Buford here is a cascoon. But, er, uh, hello, it's clearly a silkoon. Cascoon. You're making some kind of Pokedex or something together, Professor, right? Then you gotta help me out. Please go catch a wild Sakoon so I can prove that it's the same species as Buford here. Uh, sure. Luckily, I still have one. <laughs> ha! It's just as I thought. They look exactly the same. Uh, the different colors. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess they're not exactly two peas in a pod. I just never would have thought two Pokemon this similar could actually be different species. Pokemon really are curious creatures, huh? Yes, guys, go on. Buford, my buddy? I didn't know the first thing about you, did I? I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. You sure you're still happy to have a goof like me for a partner? You heard you lovable rascal. You really are the only partner for me. This dynamic duo will stay together forever. Right. Okay. So, still need to give the one guy that. Let's find this person down by the farm. It's okay, I have to go to the farm anyway to see if my crop came in. Medical leaks, two pepper plants, two bugwood burns. Let's do apricorns this time. Clerks so of the Security Corps, that's me. Uh, thanks for so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch a Zubat and show me uh, so I can look it in the eyes. Odd request, I know. But I have good reason for it. Zubat never seemed to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision must be top notch. <clears throat> if I could see how they the see if I could learn to see in the dark like them, nice shifts of guard duty would could be a breeze. I'm counting on your help. Catch a Zubat and come show it to me, would you? Sure. I'll take a good look at those peepers, if you please, Zubat. Uh, good luck with that, because it doesn't seem to have any. Huh? Where are the eyes of this little guy? Don't tell me. It doesn't have eyes. But that means Zubat flies around while being completely blind? Hmm, Zubat must have some kind of secret sense that doesn't need a, if it doesn't need eyes. Huh. That's amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I going to do about nighttime shifts on guard duty? Uh, be get a partner, Zubat. That's a good idea. No need for to go it alone, after all. A little help would be great. That's that, then. I'll go out there and find a Zubat to help me as a partner. Thanks for the great advice. I have this one. I'm going to just release it anyway. Speaking of releasing. Um, 
What else we got? Uh, I have to show her the cricket tot, and I have to get the cherum. All right, to the pastures. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've, did I did I mention before I caught a shiny ponytail? I feel like I did. Okay. Ah, there it is. Release multiple. We'll keep three of each. So, th three. Actually, just keep one of each extra. Zubat, Dustox, Chatot. Keep a Wurmple. Keep a Crookatoon. Keep a Burmy. Self a Pokemon. Keep a Stantler. Keep a Geodude. Keep a Paris. Keep you. Keep a Doof. Keep a Psyduck. Keep one of you. You keep you okay. Thank you. Let's actually use some of this dust. Yeah, we'll use it. Yeah, we'll use it. Hold on. Uh, what I need to do right now... Oh, hi. Is my... Put this away. This way. There we go. 
We've moved 15 more stuff. Let's see something. Let's go to the training grounds. Let's go to this lady first. <coughs> Wanna get items? I have 221 MP from finding things for people. I need a thousand to get a fire stone, a water stone, a thunder stone, an ice stone, or a, a uh, leaf stone to evolve my Eevee further. So, I'm gonna have to find more people's stuff. Spinari. Let's see. Baby doll eyes. Aqua tail. Already has that. The aqua tail. No aqua tail. Psyduck Paris. Uh, absorb. Confusion. Already knows Absorb. Already knows Confusion. What's Stanler? Psy Shield Bash. These are the same as the other one, so I guess she only teaches certain ones. What does this exchange items? Ah, okay. Alright, let's go see what Maya has to say. Is there anything new in the general store? Hmm, nope. Oh, this is selling stuff. Okay. Alright, my, what's up? My, my, the Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. What's, what's your point? Oh, yes. I came because I had some news that I thought you'd be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to... What'd you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Oh, hi, War Deer. Where? Spoke to War Deer about what's going on. Told him that you've been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell the Cleros frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl clan. Just a wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. Hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. 
I trust you appreciate it. Or just found you worthy, you see? Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for her, Mai? This is very important, so listen well. The Celest Celestica flute the Mai just played. It's a precious tool to be used to call on Word Dare so you can ride upon him. It's, it's the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sino itself. And now, this one's yours. Cool. Who could be used to call a species of Pokemon that will be willing well, that are willing to bear you around the region? Its timber is airy and mysterious. It's not a grand... It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Or dare open his heart and learn how... Learned well the sound you are, of your playing. See so the mind plate from our dear. Okay. Soul tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of a psychic type. Okay. Now use the Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with great word air. You've got a frenzy Pokemon to quell in the Grand Tree area, haven't you? With Weirder, you can gallop across field lands in no time. Okay. Cool. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert of wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. And apparently this guy hated something. Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. Here you have the rare ability to dash over hill and, and valve on the back of Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at a balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. So, for really? So, you need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding in a Pokemon. If you manage to bust, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whenever you want to test your skills in a balloon race. Alright, let's try it. <clears throat> there are a total of 30 balloons on the course. Let's see how many you can burst in 45 seconds. I got 26. That's a pretty good start, yeah? I'll go back. You burst 26 balloons. Closest person in the mall. A little reward for, to keep you motivated. What do you say? You want to be target bursting? Uh, okay. Ooh, feather balls. See what happens if I get all of them. If I can.
Ah, oh, nuts. Almost. <clears throat> I can do this. Seems like there's barely enough time to do it, though. It again. <clears throat> Gotta slow down there at the end and time it right. I got two and a half minutes. Got it. Per perfection. You popped every single balloon. Definitely a balloon popping burst and boss, that's for sure. That means you deserve something to mark this occasion. You got a nugget. Nice. You got some rare candy. Nice. Alright. <clears throat> so we're going to call it here. That's a nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that are flying high in the air. Gotcha. Alright, so... When we come back, I'll have done some more looking around. Need to, uh... See if I can do the Abras. Sometimes you scared it off with a scatterbang. Okay. I'm gonna do the beautiful eyes too. So I know where they are. But that's all for next time. Till then, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like. Share, comment, subscribe, it always helps me out. And as always, have a good day. And take care.